to turn them out. Got to turn them out. Steve Harvey got to turn them out. Got to turn them out. Steve Harvey turn them on to the morning show. Come on, Steve. Come on. Do your thing, Big Daddy. Uh-huh. I sure will. Good morning, everybody. You're listening to The Voice. Uh, come on, dig me now. One and only Steve Harvey. I got a radio show. Sometimes you wake up and you're not feeling your best. Now, the reason I'm talking about this today is because today is one of those days for me. You know, you can stay positive, and, and I'm a very, very positive person. Now, I'm turning it around as I speak to you because I've learned a trick in my life. I've learned a self-motivating tool that I use, and I'm going to share it with you today. So if you wake up and you're not quite feeling yourself that day, as is the case with me today, if you wake up and you just, you know, you know the old saying, you just woke up on the wrong side of the bed, that type of thing. You're having one of those days. Here's what I do. Here's what I've already began to do to turn the ship around for me. Whenever I'm having one of those moments where I'm not on point, don't feel or something seems a little out center, I immediately, immediately, and and and, and I, I'm, I'm not kidding you. I'm, I'm in the process of doing it right now. I immediately start thinking of, of all the little things, all the little things that I have that I can be grateful for. And I start with the fact that the reason I had to get up this morning. See, the reason I had to get up this morning was because of, you know, the work I do, the job I have. Now, you may not have a job that you're in love with like I'm in love with mine, but let me ask you this right here. Suppose you didn't have that job. Oh, man, how would today be? Well, you could sleep in a little bit longer, but when you woke up, man, you'd have to be faced with the cold realization that, hey, man, I ain't working. Man, I ain't, I ain't making it happen for me and mine. I'm not getting it done. And so with that in mind, I immediately I, I, I start showing some gratitude for waking up and, man, just having 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 work to go do. And then I started telling myself that, man, he didn't have to do it, but he did. He woke me up this morning, that I'm up, I'm actually able, that I'm here again, that that he ain't through with me yet, that there's really still things for me to do. Man, okay, cool, I'm on point with that, I'm on point with that. And then I just started going over the little things. Man, I, you know, my coffee machine wasn't working this morning. I said, man, I've been down. I've been fiddling with that coffee machine trying to get it to work, you know. Couldn't get it to work. Uh, and, you know, I'm out at the ranch this week because of, uh, you know, uh, because the boys' camp starts tomorrow. And I haven't been out here in a year. But, you know, I, I call somebody, you know, I'll get some coffee. It's okay. It ain't the end of the world. You know, and I, I, I was, I start thinking about man that I, I have a place that I can go to once a year. That's beautiful. You know, I start thinking about, you know, man, look, I, I got a place that I lay my head. That's mine. I mean, you know, as my father-in-law once told me, uh, when somebody came to see about him and his house was inside his house, talking to him crazy, the police. He said, "Listen to me." He said, "This is my house." He said, "As meager as it may be, this is my house." And I'm the king of this castle right here. However meager it may be, this is mine. And, you know, when you start looking at stuff in terms like that, man, I mean, for me, it's just a trick I use. I start feeling better. I start looking around, man. I start thinking about, man, I I got something to wear today. You know, I start looking at little stuff. Man, I'm going to have some eggs later on today. I start looking at other stuff. Somebody's hungry today. See, some, so somebody don't don't really have an option of knowing what they're going to have today. I actually have a refrigerator with an option in it. You know, I start looking at the little things, man, that God has done for me. The little things that's in my life. And I start picking myself up, man. I start feeling a whole lot better about myself. And see, the more I start telling it to you right now, the better I'm starting to feel. Because, man, as you can, you know, I mean, look, I mean, listen to my voice. My, my energy is picking up. My pace is picking up. 
Because now I didn't hit I don't I didn't hit my rhythm. I'm up. I'm glad I'm up. I'm grateful to be here. I'm glad I got a family. I'm glad God didn't kept my kids. I'm glad God kept my wife. You know, I'm glad. You know, whoever you are, whatever your situation is, God didn't kept somebody for you on your behalf. That's a benefit to you. Or somebody you're trying to teach something, they may finally get it today. Or something you've been trying to know. You may finally know it today. But you got to accept the blessing of what it is that you know now. Okay? You know, see, if you've been looking for an answer, a solution to a problem, and then the solution come, you know, you got to be grateful for it. You know, Lord, help me with this relationship. Maybe today is the day you find out that that's been the toxin and the poison in your life. That that relationship is what's wrong. See, but because we want to hang on to it, or we try to make it go against everything that was in us, now we got this toxic poison in our life. You know, you may find out today that that's it, that you need to move on. Well, you know something? That ain't the most devastating thing you could find out. There's a blessing in a lot of things that 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 looks painful at times. You know, I said it at best one time. I said, uh, you know, sometimes the breakup is the blessing. For a lot of people, it is, man. Because, you know, look, man, you know, you know, we make choices with who we want to be with. And sometimes you done pick the wrong person, you know. Look, and it don't make that person a bad person. That person just wasn't good together with you. That's all it is. And so when you come to that realization, sometimes, you know, it's time to move on. You got to be grateful for all of the little things, man. The fact that you have a way to get around. The way that you have, the reason that you have some money to go get on something to go get around. That you in school. It might not be going just perfect for you right now, but guess what? You in school, man. You got a shot. You making it happen. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a lot of people don't have that, man. A, a lot of people don't know what the next move is. At least you're in the process of doing something about it, and you may not know how to see your way all the way to the end, but just knowing what to do, what the next step could be for you, that's good enough. You know, you don't have to know all the steps. Just what am I going to do next? Well, after I do this, I'm going to take this course. Then after I complete this semester, I move on to that semester. I don't care what it is. Look, man, we just got to find something to be grateful about today. Because in your gratitude, God blesses you with more. See, when God sees that we're grateful for the things we have, he gives us more things to be grateful for. It's simply the law of attraction. If you're thankful and grateful for the things you have, you will now attract to yourself more things to be grateful for. It's the law of attraction. It, it works in every aspect of your life. Now, the fact that you don't know the rule, it does not matter. It doesn't matter. Well, Steve, I ain't never heard that. That ain't how I look at it. No, 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 no. The law of attraction doesn't work that way, folks. It works the same way for everybody, whether you're aware of it or not. So the thing that you want the most of in your life is the thing that you're going to have to give the most of. The things that the thing that you hope happens to you the most is the thing that you're going to have to have happen to others the most. Lord, I want you to cover me. You're going to have to cover some people. Lord, I want you to hear my cry. You're going to have to hear some people's cries. Lord, I want more love in my life. You're going to have to love more people. I'm talking about real, real love now. I'm not talking about going out fooling around with somebody. That's that's ridiculousness. And see, here's, oh, well, well, since I'm talking about love and wrong love and ridiculousness, here's how you know that it ain't from God. I want you to hear me now. If God is involved in it, there is no sin. If there is sin involved in it, it's not from God. Just remember that rule. It took me a long time to learn that one. You know what? The Bible says, do unto others that you would have them do it. Well, they did it to me, so they must want it done to them. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to do this. If what you're going to do is a sin, you have now twisted a Bible verse to fit your method or or what you want to do. To, to know, simply know that if it's God's voice that's talking to you or something that's going on is in it, Bishop Olman taught this to me. The God's voice and God's methods or ways 
has no sin in it. That's you. All right. Have a great day. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 